Yeah. There you go. Carl. Oh, you call me back? Hello? What's going on? What's the deal, my guy? <laughs> Shit, chill. What's up, Buck? Man, we calling. Got you on the podcast. I'm trying to call Ron at the same time to let y'all chime in on uh, the game between East and West and what's been going on in the league so far. Yeah, yeah I can hear you, bro. Hey, you want to come move tomorrow, bro? I'm having a hoop run tomorrow. You want to come move with some real niggas? Hell yeah, what's up? I'm lying, bro. You can't come. I was talking shit. <laughs> <laughs> the best he could. I mean, until hey, he hey, decided Bosco, that. Somebody, uh, court, the guy, remember the guys y'all played, the yellow team, the, the young guys y'all played? The, uh, the guy who team it is, Corey, he here, he, he said TP had 40. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to say, like, I thought he had 40 too. It looked, it looked <laughs> like 40. Bro, don't fucking stop. Because he, he had 40 because TP hit every big shot for us, bro. Man. The only person that hit a big shot besides him is Deshaun hit Wood one hit a big jumper. And KO hit one up top. Yeah. But other than that, Deshaun Wood, I mean, uh, TP hit every big. Like, his shots were so big, it just looked like. Yeah. Right. And look who popped in on the phone. Record on there, don't tell me that fucking podcast. <laughs> you back on the pod? You you back on the podcast again, uh, man? No, I think my team talking shit about them old ass niggas, dog. <laughs> Hell no, I ain't said NBK the best team in the city, bro. <laughs> <laughs> you you said no more, you bro. said you was gonna you was gonna take one L, man. You took an L. Yeah, that's it though. Whenever it is, yeah, it's over, bro. That's it. We took our L, bro. That's shit over with, dog. Um, we got my guy Hood right here, yeah. aka Master P. Got me the eight. Got my boy Fat Boy D there. Fortunately, we don't have Vince today. Um, I guess he got to go pay some bills, or we got to retalk his contract. He said we got too many subscribers now, so he ain't coming back until he gets his money. But um, all right, got you. I got you. I got you. Hey, what's up, everybody? Yo, this is Brody V coming at y'all live in action. Really, I'm not live in action because I'm missing out right now, you know, but I got my guys in the studio holding it down for me. Uh, before I get to the introductions, I want to say thank you to everybody who has subscribed to us already. Uh, continue to hit that smash button and get the content out. We're going to continue providing dope content with you. So, let's uh, talk about how the league been going so far, man. Uh... So far, so good. I mean, every week I feel like it gets more competitive. The schedule gets tougher. The crowd gets bigger. Um, but also, <laughs> we have more drama. But, yeah, you know, I think moving forward, you know, we'll be able to figure out everything and get everything under control so we can just come and play basketball. Because that's what we will be in the gym for. <laughs> Coming off our biggest week for real. Um, two monster matchups. Every game was a good game. Um, we grew on fast. Uh, I mean, everything good. Of course, I mean, you, you know, you're going to have some problems when the league starts getting as big as we got this quick, but um, it's been a lot more positive than, than negative. So. Thank you. 
type of defense that might want to crowd me, but ain't as physical as LJ, you know what I'm saying? So yeah. I, I like the matchup. <laughs> so, so far, what has been Money Team's toughest matchup in the UPBA League? Like I said, once again, the toughest matchup is going to be he's, it's going to be East or West because, like I say, they want to play defense. If you look at every other team in there, you don't see no team coming in and just want to play defense. They want to they want to play defense. Every player on their team like to play defense. You know what I'm saying? So they all going to be a tough matchup. Like, that's about the only team I really see and really battling with everybody else. I just feel like it's going to be a cake where we can take off from it goes from being up six to twenty any second against anybody else that I feel. Summer seven, it was, it was, it was a decent team too. But like I, I feel like they made a way more shots than I haven't seen them making on nobody else when they played us. Like it seemed like everything they were shooting was this far, and they was getting good looks too at the same time. But I don't believe summer seven is like as tough as anybody was telling me. But I heard they have players that ain't been there, so I don't know. Like maybe overseas in the D League or something was saying, but I love to play with the players, but I ain't, I don't think that it is tough. Cause everybody been seen. Okay, and and what what y'all you and having like basically you know you J K Jody, and I think uh, Tell about to start the season with the Detroit Hustle. How is that going to affect y'all on Sundays? Like, will that still I mean, will they make it to where y'all still be able to make it to the games, or is training camp going to shut everything down? Like, how is that going to affect Money Team? Well, it really shouldn't affect it as much. Not for real. It just depends on, like, I, well, sometimes, I think a couple Sundays we do have a game for that league. So, that's probably, you know, we got, we got other players we can put out there. But from my point, I don't know what's going on with the league. We was talking to Sheen, I was talking to the coach, or whatever, he was telling me that. Uh, y'all shut down for a second or so. Yeah, we try to try to figure out um, a way to make it to where we can continue. They kind of there's a lot of speculation, a lot of stories that got out, and they got back to you know the people who are in charge, and they kind of you know they don't want that type of environment um, at the church. Um, I think a lot of guys forget that Saint Cecilia is a church. You know what I mean? And it's a lot of older people that live in that neighborhood. So um, they shut us down uh, right now and I'm working to try to get us back as soon as possible because I know, like you said, uh, the Detroit Hustle about to start. Um, we about to start a pro league in May and I don't want to you know, be having guys sit around and not be able to get those reps before those real pro seasons start. So um, I, I hope that you know we can be you know, back up and running within a week or so. But yeah, they um it's been a lot of stories, you know, around the city and I mean they listening to them because I feel like they think they got more to lose than we got. You know, like they got a program, they got the, the church, they got a reputation. It's not ha it hasn't really been no crazy altercations over there and it's getting warmer outside, you know. Man. So I mean that like think about Sunday. Sunday was packed. Like Sunday <laughs> was packed, you know, like the parking lot was crazy, you know, emotions were high, and I mean, it was good basketball, like all day. Um, so we gotta figure out a way to, to just keep it good basketball, because you know, we got some of the best talent in the world, and we don't get to display it because of things like Sunday. So, um, you know, that's, that's where I'm at with it. I was on the phone all day, trying to figure out a strategy to make it to where we can continue to, to go on, and I'm not gonna let my lead just just go away, you know, not that easy, you know, like I'm going to fight for it. And I feel like my reputation and, and how I carry myself speaks for itself. So, um, y'all really haven't lost no games in a long time. Uh, and the, the IBA, you know, ending the way it did, we didn't really get to see the final, uh, the final game, but can you talk to me about, what happened in the first game? Because I wasn't able to make it because we had our stuff going on. Um, but what happened in the first game in the IBA versus East to West? Yeah, I, I feel like, you know, we just came out and dominated the whole game for real. Like, but we already knew that anyway. You know, everybody was 
feel like East and West would beat us two zip. I knew that wasn't never happening anyway. But I had already told my team we're gonna go out and beat them two zip. And I was like, when we take the first game, that's gonna let them know. And then the second game, I was just like, we just gonna go out there and smash. Because truth be told, they be feeling like JK is not a big. JK, I seen them play at his highest level. So but people don't understand, maybe like JK saw him, JK wanted to shoot jumpers. No, JK was really a muster. Like, he played down to the talent wise. Like, if he feel like he just too, he just better than you, you're not playing him tough, he's going to play you that way. You know what I'm saying? And I do the same. I go out with tough teams. I just know, like, the guards ain't tough. I ain't for the check on You know what I'm saying? I'm just going to act goofy. I'm just going to, you know, have fun with the game. But I still play tough and have fun, but I just. I, I take it easy. So that's what they be mixing up with JK. They be feeling like he's soft and just be saying certain stuff. But we showed him that game against Easton West. He dominated their bigs. They bigs wasn't enough for him. And then with the matchup, I don't know if they came with a little plan. I think they wanted to have Quill to not meet 94 feet. And I was like, that was terrible. That was that was the worst plan ever. <laughs> I don't. Well, you know what I'm saying? I don't take nothing from Quill defense. Quill. Always been a good defender because, like I said, he played physical and strong. You know what I'm saying? So without moves, you ain't getting around them. You know what I'm saying? If you don't have no moves, they they lock you up. Real tough. You know what I'm saying? They don't make me have to hit them with three, four moves before they get bad. Do what I need to do. I have to hit them with three, four moves. So I ain't gonna take nothing away from this defense, but it's a difference. Like checking me, definitely 94 feet, and you doing it by yourself. Like now they probably running the track. Get out my hand, that's a different thing, but you're gonna let me catch it and you're gonna let me run all the way up the court. That's gonna be tough, man. It's gonna be tough for anybody to just check me one on one. You know what I'm saying? Hey, yo, Buck, man, this fat boy, I got a question for you. Now, I've been, I mean, I've been around the city basketball for a long time, so I just seen, I've I seen you play in every league. I saw you play when you was younger. What changed from when you was 30 point a game, Buck, to now? Because Looking at you play now, it seemed like y'all more successful now than you were when you was when you was putting up thirty a game. Because a lot of guys don't, a lot of these younger guys in the leagues don't remember that they, they didn't see you back then when you was dropping thirty a game. They see you now. So what what did you see? Like when did you decide? Like all right, maybe I need to switch my game for us to be more successful. Honestly, you know when we was playing back then, I was younger, so I was playing with my. Older brothers and cousins. I mean, y'all probably familiar with we, you know, right. we was still good. That's my brother, me. So, and then we was always younger anyway. So we was like, we couldn't go get in the league with a grown man. And that's how I played anyway. Since I was in elementary, I was playing because my brother and was going to high school. So I always played with the older kids. But when I was so young, I was I was like developing and growing. At the same time, like I tell them, I, I always argue with guys. They be like, "But what you gonna do? You gonna come give us twenty tonight, twenty five? Like, man, I care about winning. Cause I hate losing more than I like winning. You know what I'm saying? I just don't want to lose. I don't care. I, I can come out hit all ten games and never score, but get out there and do what I need to do to help my team win. So that's what I come to do, man. You know what I'm saying? I be doing. I I'd rather do all the other stuff. I don't know if y'all was watching the game, but just like when I was on. Every time somebody shot free throws, y'all notice I was at the line for rebound. And I stole about five, six rebounds from Justin. That I was still in the, you know what I'm saying? I'm just doing other stuff that I need to do to have my team win other than scoring. Because a lot of people don't understand, like, you can come out there and get 30 at night. And I've I heard cats be like, oh, I had 30. And I'm like, y'all just lost by 17, you're 30 in the negative. That's how that's my team is. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's our team. <laughs> so. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you don't believe in it, but, you know, I just came out there, like I said, I'm older now, so I'm thinking, what can I do to have my team win other than score? So, you know, all that coming out to get 30, that ain't even in my game. I know I can do it because I've done nothing with the best of Yeah. Um, before the, the shutdown, um, we were heading to a MBK money team matchup. How do you feel about NBK and matching up with them if we're able to, you know, move forward with the season. How do you feel like, you know, a strategy or what y'all will have to do? Well, probably not a strategy because I'm sure people are going to see this, but like, how do you feel about that matchup? 
I feel like this is a good matchup. I feel like that would be a good matchup too. But like, I, I ain't gonna lie, it's a lot of good teams. It's a lot of teams in there that can match up. You know what I'm saying? Like, look, going back to summer seven, they was a good team. Like I, I, I feel like they played with structure, but they might have, you know what I'm saying? At times, took some bad shots. But you gonna do that every game? Because we take bad shots. Well, I'm gonna say bad, but shots we don't need. You know what I'm saying? So. Yeah, NBK going to be a good matchup, man. There's a lot of good teams in there for real. Like, teams that people probably be like, they weak. They not necessarily weak. They just not playing to their peak, and they just not. It's just something they probably not doing right if they're coming together as a team. They go back to everybody they want to come to gym. Like, I'm still 20 dollars, I'm still 30. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't, I don't understand that. But I want to win, man. I don't even care. Like, they ask me, like, what, what you have? I don't, I, it don't matter what I have. I, I, I got a W just like this. I don't care who won by half a point. A win is a win. That's what's up, man. Well, we appreciate you, man, uh, picking up and chopping it up with us and, and appearing on the show. Uh, hopefully, we can get back to basketball soon. And uh, we definitely going to come check you out once y'all um, season start with the hustle. Um, okay. We'll probably be in Cali. So, yeah, yeah we think trip. about going, going <laughs> on a sure. calendar trip and come check y'all out. Definitely a uh, calendar trip. On the 28th, that's uh, the Detroit Hustle playing um, in the uh, TBL, yeah. TBL League. So, yeah, we'll, we'll tap in with you, man, in the weeks moving forward. Um, appreciate it. I appreciate you. What's up, man? This uh, this crowd and door, man. Cause I, I remember I was the first one to catch you when uh, <laughs> right after the game, you go all that old shit, all that old shit. So it's obvious you've been watching. So how you feel about that game and uh, what was your mindset going into the Easy Money game? Man, it really was bothering me all week, man. Because you know, ever since the league started, you know, we've been hearing a lot of jokes and you know, about our team and we do, we old news, we got a lot of old players. So leading up to the game, it was really just bothering me, man. It was almost like playing for that college championship again, man, or being overseas trying to win a league tournament. I was just down in, man. I just was like, it was no way I could just do the satisfaction of walking out of here with a W, man. So my, my Sunday night went real well when I got home, bro. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you was just, it was like from the tip of the start, like, y'all was just so locked in, like, even, it was even one point in the game where Rio went for a block, and he actually got hurt, like, I was just locked in on all cylinders, and it was like a complete game. You know, Sean was on point, you know, so it, it was a complete game. And what a lot of people don't understand is, man, we got so many dudes on our team, but it's only one ball, you know? So a lot of plays and a lot of things that everybody do will go unnoticed. You know, at times, like, for example, when we had got down through, and I came up with a loose ball and hit Knicks for an assist, you know, on a layup to try the game back up late. But stuff like that goes unnoticed, you know, because everybody just want to see the 20s and the 30s. But when our team did a good job of last game, everybody did something, man. You know, whether you had 8 to 10 points, whether you had rebounds, assists, whether you got to get a stop on possession, and I think that's just what's most important for us, you know, with all the, time, with all the guys we got, that we just continue to play together, and I think that'll help us out down the stretch. Hey, Wood, being that all y'all guys over there have pretty much can play the game at a high level and, and um, made money off of this game, like, how, how do you guys find it in you to kind of take back seats to somebody else? Like, TP had it going. And I've seen you do exactly what TP did. Like, so how do you guys come together and decide, and you know what I'm saying, just fight the ego of just being an uh, elite athlete to say, this is what we got to do to win. For some of the younger guys who don't understand it yet. Well, I think it makes it a little bit easier for us because, like you said, we have played. And I mean, my first year overseas, man, I had a dude in UConn, a dude from Kentucky, a dude from Providence, and a dude from Notre Dame. So what other choice do I have but to learn how to play with those dudes? And it's the same with the NBA, man. You know, you know these dudes like Durant, they had Durant, Clay Thompson. I mean, just when you play at a professional level, man, what most guys, I think it's the biggest difference between 
the lower level or the high level, is you need guys that can make the game easier for you, you know? Like, there's a lot of times when TP comes down, he draws up teams where he wants a good pick and roll, and he hit me for a good shot. And vice versa. Right. But if you play with other good players, you know, it just makes the game easier for you. And you don't and you realize you don't have to do it all by yourself. I think that's just the biggest difference, man, of just letting each other know that winning is the first and most important step. But after that, you know, just trusting your teammates to know that these guys got paid too, so. All right, another thing. Uh, this is the first time we've seen Knicks all season. How big, how huge was he for you in the uh, game against Easy Money? Ooh, man, real big, man, because I felt like that was really the X factor uh, in the game. I, I think they didn't have nobody to really step up like that. Uh, and then when he got hurt, you know, he was a big body. And a lot of times, it's still, it's not good position. So, later on, you know, offensive rebounds or he, what a lot of people don't realize either is he was setting a lot of kicks on and that's one of the reasons why he was able to get a lot of shots that he got because, you know, it's hard trying to that big body as the opposing defender all night long, you know. So, um, we don't need Nick to continue to play like that the rest of the year if, uh, if we want any shot at winning this thing. Yeah, he definitely was huge. I was just seeing a couple of players where he actually got hyped to set a screen after you score. You know, you don't usually see guys be happy to set screens like that now in the new days. Like, young guys just want to just score. So, yeah, that was, that was pretty huge for you guys. Um, what's the next question I feel? Money thing? Yep. Okay, uh, hype. So, continue. the league continues uh, for the most part, how do you feel about your matchup against the money team? That's the real guys' next matchup that we got on the schedule. They're a real good team, man, and they're good at what they do as far as they want to speed the game up. They kind of want to make the game, like, I don't want to say out of control, but they want to play their way, you know, uh, going up and down, uh, getting to the basket, putting on the shows. And us as professionals and dudes that play the game, we just got to stay with what we do. And I think this, you know, they always say styles make good fights. I think that's going to kind of be the same thing here, is which style is going to really control the game? You know, if we if we get caught up in the, how they play, then we're going to be in trouble. And if they, and if we get to keep them where we want them, you know, it's like a half-court game, play smart D, out let them can and take good shots, they don't want to play that game. So I think this is one of those old-school boxing matches where, you know, the style is just going to determine the outcome, you know, who can play that style. So that's a great answer. Um, so you've been here the whole season since the game one. Uh, who's been your toughest matchup so far? Man, everybody, man. Because to be honest with you, bro, I was a couple months ago. I was sitting at home just eating food and, and, and donuts and getting <laughs> out of the time. So since day one, man, it's been hard trying to find my legs and just get back into it, you know. But it got me so excited, you know, with all the teams that's in it. Or the, I mean, there's a lot of talent in this league, man. And, and plus, it's at the same. So it's like a double, a double win. You know, everybody's competitive. Everybody wants to win. You know, you get good crowds every week. So my, my, my main goal right now is just to be better and better because the schedule is already going to get tougher. I mean, we played Summer 7 already. They played us real well. We played Easy Whitey. And it's still three, four, five other good teams that can give us a run for our money. So, the main goal is right now for me personally is just to continue to get better, man, and, and that's what I hope to do. All right, man. We appreciate you, man, for calling into the lab, and uh, we hope you keep tuning in and uh, you can see what other people got to say about you and uh, keep locking in. We appreciate you, Wood. Oh, uh, no doubt, man. Appreciate it, bro. All right. Yeah. Uh, all right, man. I will apologize to MBK. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> The boys came. They said they weren't show, I hadn't seen it and they, they showed me this week, so I want to apologize to them. They played a great game against uh, Easy Money. Yep. And uh, got a big win. Showed them that some old niggas can still play. In a close game. To the worst Yeah, well, it wasn't like it yeah, was. Yeah, like, yeah, it was. Yeah, it was a close game. Yeah. Um, Put the two up from them, Yeah. Yep. Double the two up and then the other matchup, Money Team versus East to West. East to West. Yeah. You know, it was a lot of side stories of what's that one too. So that was that was a great thing for everybody got to finally see. You know, yeah, the energy in the building was ridiculous Shh, at that time, man. It was just, yeah. it was unbelievable. Yeah, 
It was it was great. It was great. Great. So um money team it, you know, end up pulling away and getting the, the victory, which in another close game. That game was close also. Um but, you know, hopefully, like I said, you know, moving forward, the matchups don't get crazier. It's like, like I, I was saying before, I think last week, there's no more lopsided games. Like, every game is going to be extremely competitive. That's why I made the divisions the way that I made them. So, the the matchups will be great every weekend. Um, the mixers, ball out, bomb squad, just different. Uh, I think, you know, just who you and Corey's in the building. Um, Y'all, the, the league has gotten more competitive. Wouldn't you say, Corey? Oh, uh, yeah. In our first exactly. three weeks, we played all heat. It's very competitive. <laughs> uh, DCTG, um, you know, uh, each one, teach one. I mean, I mean, we got a lot of teams. Uh, and it's, like I said, it's pretty much evenly matched in each division. Um, so I'm hoping we don't take too many days off because like things were starting to, to really heat up uh, and become interesting. You know, like uh, watching some games that I thought should be kind of uh, blowouts or not so close or end up being close. So that means we got guys that's in the league that's fighting. You know, they ain't just coming to, to lay down. They, they coming to compete. I got, I got some guys saying that they don't feel like they should – they feel like they should be in that top division. Um, what's Whitehead's team name? Um, ball anywhere. Oh yeah. Okay. TJ player said, "No way in hell they should be in the top eight. Ball no anywhere should be in the top eight. One of the top eight teams in the league. They said they want that smoke. They haven't had any smoke yet. That's what they, I'm saying. Yeah, he's like right. They didn't. They have a. They said they won summer seven. Did they play money he said, team? He said they undefeated. He was like, I've never seen no league where a team can be undefeated and they not in the top eight. Like, that's how tough this league is. But if you want to get through in the fights, <laughs> we can throw you in the fights. They want summer seven. Sure. They want summer seven. They want summer seven. Yeah. That's good. We can do one better. You know, <laughs> if, we, if they want some smoke, if they yeah. feel like they not. Being challenged, but I, I felt like they had a close game uh, early. Um, Who did they play? I mean, I don't think they haven't just walked through nobody. Right? Yeah. So they haven't walked through nobody. I mean, I I, I, this I, game Sunday might have been. They played Saturday. Right. They played Saturday. And they played La Familia, right? No, oh, they did. Oh, they did play. They played La Familia. DC. Uh, DC. Uh, La Familia yeah. played DC TG. Yeah. I feel like they played a lot for me. They played a lot for me last week, I believe. Yeah. We could put them against uh, choice players, and I feel like that would be a perfect match. They play yeah. Showtime. Oh, yeah. They play Showtime. Yeah. Well, yeah, we, we can see. I mean, if we had to, if, if and this is, this last week was the final week for solidifying that, that top eight. So they might end up in that top eight, which I wouldn't want to be in the top eight if I was, you know, on the fence. Yeah. Like, I, I wouldn't want to be in that division with Money Team, Easy Money, East to West, East to West Summer, Summer 7, seven. like, NBK, yeah. you know? That's tough. Uh, yeah, that's a tough, that's tough, 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 man, tough division. Tough. Well, for me, it's got tougher, too. Jeremy Allen Jeremy showed Allen. up. Yeah. Uh, Bernard has been pretty consistent, even though he's been banged up. Yeah, yeah. Um, it's a lot of teams, I think, that, like I said, I mean, just who made the playoffs last season, and For sure. they're not in the top eight right now. So that's 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 <laughs> hey. tough, right? Like, you know. Uh, Playing all heat. That game you know, was, was still that kind of close. Against somebody. That game was still kind of close. Bomb squad? Yes. Bomb squad ain't played nobody yet, really? 
They played uh, the mixers. They played the mixers. But that was, but, yeah. I don't know, man. I think they good. Like, I, I like I like their team. Not just because my family is over there, but I, I like their team. And I, I want to see them against no, one of those top something. teams to see. To see if some of them guys over there is what, they, what I think they are. They'll be good against Summerson, for sure. Bob Swap. They yeah. played Summerson. They did. We're supposed to play Summer Seven Sunday. Oh yeah, see that? that, that see, he was on something. He was on. He was already on it. Yeah. Oh he yeah. I, I, I I figured, you know, like I said, that matchup was going to be a good matchup. Unfortunately, Summer Seven couldn't be in the building Sunday um, because the game was too early. Man. But shout out to City Ballers who would play Summer Seven. They gave them a. They yeah. Gave, yeah. They gave them a Man. Great game. They was balling. Bro. It was a good game. Yes. Yeah. yeah, yeah they, okay. they. It wasn't. Yeah. Them. They was balling, bro. Oh wow. That little point guard they got is straight. Yeah. The light skin kid, and then they got the 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 kid with the dreads who just be all over the place. Mm-hmm. He probably Athletic. was like close to fifteen and twelve. Yeah, they was. Yeah, they was balling. Shout out to City Ballers, man. Yeah. It actually, team just basically came out of nowhere. Yeah. Free agent team. So, right. you know that that's dope. For them to be able to compete with one of the top teams, uh, and Bomb Squad is probably in that top eight. Yeah. You know, like that's another team yeah. between them and Ball Out, and they beat Ball Out, I believe. Yeah. So, yeah. right? Ball yeah. Out. So they beat, ball out. they beat Ball Out. They beat the Mixers. Like you Ball know, Out is an, that's another team who I think got to find. They still trying to figure out, trying to find their identity. Ooh, you know, team together because they got some. They got some yeah. guys over there that yeah. can play for sure. Just they ain't really put it together yet. And I, I want I want to say shout out to DC TG and just who because they have been thrown in the fire. You know what I mean? For like sure. they have definitely been thrown For in the sure. fire early. Oh, and I know <laughs> every week is like a heavy heavyweight so yeah. far. So yeah. you know I think they gonna have a, like a a, a a breath of fresh air just <laughs> kind of. <laughs> Playing with teams that are more, you know, uh, balanced, you know, a, a more competitive game um, than they they've seen. I mean, yeah, they were fighting. I think I, oh, honestly though, know, like I mean, choice players being a top eight team and coming yeah. that game came out to a buzzer beater. Yeah. Over, over ball ball out. Ball out. Yeah, they, you know. They Most of the only games were close because they just what they lost in behavior over like two points, two two. Oh. Uh, I don't know, I'm not sure. Did they have, choice player. Yeah, they didn't lose by that much. Yeah, they didn't lose by much to them either. I mean, choice player's not a bad team. Yeah, they, yeah. Play, they have yeah, they not a bad team. Yeah. They, I mean, they're good. Good. Yeah. they're good. They're good. Christian can play. Um, I don't know the dark skin, left hand kid. He can go. I mean, they solid. Uh, yeah, they play the right I'll way. Uh, the other kid, the mid range shooter. Uh, I don't know his name. Um, I do. Yes, yeah. can you think of it? I rich, 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 rich. Yeah. Um, I, I would say that they're like six. Honestly, like I feel like I would put them above Bomb Squad, but I want to see that matchup now. You know what I mean? Like, uh, and then Ball Out. Obviously, I'll put them above Ball Out and the Mixers. Um, but wait, the Mixers beat. Who are coming together? The Mixers. Beat yeah, the, they beat. Did they beat? Players. They beat Choice Players, beat right? Choice players. At the buzzer. Yeah, nope, yeah. that was ball out. That was ball out. That was ball out. Tyron came off the screen, hit the floater. Okay. Yeah, that was so ball out. So, which players played this past week? They played. Uh, they played because levels played against the mixers. So, the players played ball out. Hmm? The mixers played levels. Choice players played play ball, ball out. out. Right. So last week, last was week, ball out versus the mixers. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Tyron hit the floater. Yeah, ball yeah. Out yeah. Mixers, so yeah, yeah, that and the mixers beat ball out. Yeah, yeah. yeah by the floater, by the floater. Yeah, it's just. I mean, speaking of just, hope it's just tough when uh, you're just trying to find an identity. Then you get thrown against teams that already got the identity and been playing against each other. So playing with each other, so it's just tough, man. It's definitely, it definitely is tough. I mean, every night, every every game can be tough. You got to yeah. come in ready to play against everybody. Yeah, you got to know let's, everybody. Uh, in the role. Let's you know, let's get Jared on the phone. Let's see what's going on with the former champs. Uh, uh, and uh, let Corey so speak good. his piece on. Hey! He lost, man. He was really. <laughs> he lost and ain't nothing to say. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Let's see if we can get Jared something wrong. 
Jerry's probably ain't got my number saved. What do you call it? Yeah, it's in the Yo. First ring. What up, though? What'd you say? I said the first ring, huh? <laughs> what up, dog? You alright? Yeah, I'm good. Calling you, man, uh, you know, to see what's going on with running up, man. Like, y'all, like, the first team that got your own jerseys made in the UPBA League, former champs. Um, you know, we got you on the podcast, and with me, Carl, and Derek, we got Corey in the building. We got my nephew. My nephew pulled up on me uh, to check out the show. Uh, how did you feel about the game against, running, uh, against uh, Just Hoop this past weekend? Huh? Yeah, it gets Corey in there. Uh, I let it slip away. That's my fault. It was on you? It was on me. So, you know, run it up, uh, you know, like being a, a, a championship team and then going to being one of the, you know, lower division teams playing on Saturday. And uh, what's your record now? One and, one and two or one and three? Two and one. Two and one? Yeah. For real? Oh, huh? They played on Saturday. They gonna be a Oh yeah, y'all, y'all played on Saturday. Okay, my bad, <laughs> my bad. So, do you feel like your your team is ready to play at prime time on Sundays? Definitely. Definitely. No, I'm serious though. Like, cause what I've seen from the first week. Y'all just don't look the same. I know Kevin not being there really had a lot to do with it, but now that Kevin, who was it? Lust. I was there. Oh. His first. Who was Kevin? Kevin Rice. Rice. Big Kevin. Oh, right. yeah, yeah, yeah. So you say you were you were not there either, and you feel like now though, right? Having all the pieces there and still taking a a L to just hoops this past week. How do you feel like y'all can come together and compete? For a championship. Oh, we just need we just need our big fella there, and uh, Mario got to stay in stay in the game. He can't be falling out in the first half. Other than that, we would have popped up by ten. If he stay in the game, a couple other pieces want to play this much, and we would have had that in the bag easily. Okay. So you so do you feel like just who played good, or do you feel like y'all just lost the game? They beat y'all or did y'all lose the game? They they played an okay game. John had a hell of a game. Um, we lost it for us to be in, having all our, not all our players, but enough of players that we had to pick nobody up on the sideline this time. But that was our first time being, like, having at least six of our own guys. But um, they shouldn't have been in the game. We kind of lost it. But it is what it is. <laughs> okay, well, I know you haven't. You probably haven't heard, but we we've been shut down because of several altercations that happened on Sunday. Um, right. we're, we're trying to bring it back together to, to get back in the gym. Um, but moving forward, who would you like to see as far as a matchup? Like you, as a player, like what team would you like to see on the schedule if you could pick? Yeah, I get you. The only, the only, like, because me and Derek be talking all the time. He said he'd be telling me about everybody. But the only team I have, the team that I haven't played was East and West money team. And all them. I, mean, I played money team twice. The first time we were courting them, we could have won that. Until Matt kicked me in my nose. He wanted to get me out the game. but That's easy money. Easy money. Yeah, easy money. Yeah, money. Yeah, yeah, money. Easy, money. Yeah. Yeah, easy money. Yeah, that's the only team I actually played that's, like, known in the city or that's supposed to be tough or whatever. But we still compete with all them. But I, I love to step in front of all them. Okay. Okay, we, we'll see, um, you know, like I said, moving forward, if we can get y'all on the schedule with, uh, you know, even though y'all just lost to just hoop, and they probably should be on Saturday right now with the way they playing. I'm very, <laughs> very disappointed in them. Um Damn, but maybe we, can, here, maybe we can, maybe we can put y'all, you know, get y'all on, uh, <laughs> on Sunday easy. to see see if y'all can compete. Since y'all got a winning record, we we can't compete. Stop saying that. 
I mean, I don't know. From what I what I've seen, I don't like top the top five teams. I don't feel like it'd be a close game, in my opinion. Just, just line, when, when we get the chance to line it up and just and you will see for yourself. Okay. Well, all right, bro. We appreciate you calling, man. Or appreciate you picking up and answering. Uh, and, um, you know, make sure you subscribe to the page and check out the show. <laughs> you don't be at the Hollywoods, eh, buddy? <laughs> I ain't never back in Hollywood. <laughs> all right, bro. All right. Peace. All right, man. Like, shout out to... Will Pierce, man, the athletic director at American International Academy. Uh, he, you know, my bro, he been helping me get right, get ready for the summer, working me out three times a week, um, 5 a.m. in the morning, doing some crazy stuff, man. He He's donated stuff to the lab. Um, just wanted to get a shout out to, to Will, man. We appreciate you over here too, bro. Shout out to our camera guy, man, uh, Diz Vision, uh, Joe, man. Appreciate all the things that you do for us, how you help us out on and off the court, man. Uh, we just wanted to give you a shout out. I know we couldn't, you couldn't make it tonight, but um, appreciate it, man. You, you know, <laughs> Joe was helping me uh, do some stuff on the roof today. I had to have my phone on me. <laughs> I couldn't take pictures. I wanted to, but uh, man, he, you know, he always come through for us, man. Uh, man big time, big time, man, big time. Man. Big time. Shout out to Kyle, man, Tom, um, you know. Original UPBA members, Will, uh, Daryl, I know you out there, man, somewhere, Kenny. Uh, we've been doing this thing since 2016, man. Um, hopefully y'all can get in and make an appearance on the show. Uh, it's hard to get in touch with y'all money team guys, man. <laughs> trying, to, trying, to, trying to get some of y'all on the line for the podcast. Nothing, man. I just want to talk to you about um, the game this like this past Sunday versus uh, East to West and how you felt about the matchup, man, and you know what it was like playing in that environment in that game. Yeah, it was uh, it was cool, man. It was uh, a little weird, you know, being on the other side uh, of that. You know what I'm saying? Um, it was a little hard for me, especially. Um, just trying to get rid of the little team and then playing against you know, the other you know, They're always good. They always play hard. So, you know, me being able, me being able to play with a new team and so early against them, you know, that, that's what made it hard. And that's what made it tough. You know, the environment, you know, it was crowded. It was loud. Everybody was talking. Everybody was yelling. So, definitely made it difficult, you know. Yeah, shout out to... Um, Infinity Sports, man. Um, the IBA, will we see the IBA back anytime soon? Um, you know, what you got cooking with that? Want to make sure we let everybody know, you know, Keith is somebody who has had his own league that was successful. Um, very competitive. <laughs> Bosco calling me. <laughs> um, so you, you got anything uh, coming up with the IBA you want to wanna plug? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got, I got, I got something coming for the summer, man. Um, just, just trying to get the right gym, you know. So, uh, I got a couple gyms lined up, you know, that I'm trying to pull through. So, like the next this summer is gonna be major. I got a bunch of stuff coming, man. You nice. know, along with opening, you know, trying to get this gym open. So, I, that's re that's really why I didn't go right back with it again because I've been focusing on like trying to open my own gym up. Mm -hmm. So. Hopefully that, you know, within the next couple of months, I'll be a little farther with that. But, you know, like I'm aiming to it so I'm to get the season two of uh, IBA popping back, man. And nice. we ended on a, on a, I don't know, we, ended, we didn't end on the on the greatest note, man. You know, it was hard to get reps, the, everything. It was just weird, you know what I'm saying? So I'm, I'm anxious to get back out there, you know, and um, do it a lot bigger than we did the first time. Dope, dope. That's something that is extremely hard, you know, finding oh, quality shit. referees. Come on, the dope. All right. Um, but yeah, man, we just wanted to get get your take, man. And all right, if you, love you, bro. Love you too. Uh, get your take on everything, man. And I be fucking with your bush. You know, hopefully we can get back in the gym soon and, and get get back to rolling. Uh, I don't know if you heard, but we, you know, we got shut down because of all the altercations that happened um, Sunday. 
But yeah. you know, hopefully we can um, you know make something happen and get get back in there soon, man. Uh, we just yeah. start to peak. <laughs> And that, you know, that's that's what I was worried about too, man, with, with the IPA. You know, with uh, just trying to control all of the, the, the stuff that, you know, that you really can't control, you know, man. So, it was, the gym that I got in mind, man, it's, you know, like, it's, it's, it's certain things that can't happen there or we don't get shut down and we do it. And they yeah. not go have none of that. You yeah. Know what I'm saying? So, I guess it's about being selective about the teams, you know, like you want, you want the best talent and the, the best players, the biggest man, but I mean, it's almost better, I would say, to not have some of the other stuff that comes with it, you know what I'm saying? So, I don't know, it's just the line that you got to find, you got to walk to figure it out, I guess. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, this is our, I want to say, last season was probably our first te- season having like the bigger names, the East yeah. to West, uh, the Summer Sevens and stuff like that. But last season was fine. Like we really didn't have really much going on. This season, man, every week is something else, you know. So, but like you said, we got all the heavyweights, you know, playing. So, um, you know, it's like a a, 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 a a lose-lose situation, or I don't even know if it's, if it's that, because you got the best teams, but you deal with everything that comes with that, you know, so it's like a... The best teams bring the most drama. Yep, yep. Yeah. They bring the most drama. Yep. Yeah. So, like, you gotta have a balance, you know, like, <laughs> you know, like it's, it's hard, you know, like, East to West and Money Team couldn't even finish a championship three-game series, so, like, <laughs> what was we supposed to do that one day, you know? Right. I told, I told uh, Buck and LJ that we, we offered the ref 300 bucks a piece to ref that game. And they wouldn't do it. <laughs> yeah. yeah, this season we had refs sitting in the stands watching and leave and say it's not working. It. It's not working. It. So, I mean, that's, that's tough, you know, like when you have guys that are getting paid that walk away from money because they feel like it's not it's not worth it to... To to ref. Um, yeah, I, I work with one of the refs that was there Sunday. Uh, he a firefighter. I work with him, and uh, he was like, "It's gonna be real tough to get ref. I mean, people to come ref these games, man. It's just it's just because they talk. You know, like all these refs talk, and I, I don't think the players understand. Like they get like chats and everything. Yeah, yeah. Like once something happened. Everybody, all the other refs don't know about it. Yeah. You know, and, they, and they don't want to deal with it, mm-hmm. especially for what they get paid. You know what I'm saying? Like, if you got to wear your pistol to rep, then, man, I'm going to stay at home. You know right. Yep, yep, yep. But, yeah, we, 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 we definitely have plans um, to, to fix all that, you know, moving forward. Um, I've been working all day trying to, to change the, the culture and the environment that we're – playing ball in because that's what it's supposed to be it's supposed to be basketball you know and I feel like that's why it's hard for you know the top leagues to 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 be in existence right now because of all the drama that's happened in the past so um you know we we want to make it to where the Detroit basketball culture is different it's, it's like it used to be back in the day with St. Cecilia you know and, and the, the big names will come out and play and stuff like that but to really have any quality basketball, you got to go out to the suburbs. You know, like yeah. can't can't really have nothing in the city. Yeah, you know, and, so. and, and it's crazy because this leagues and these gems that people never even heard of going on consistently, like back to back to back, and like some of these leagues are charging like one hundred and twenty-five dollars a person. Yeah, you know, these, yep. you, these guys are paying it. No hesitation. And, and they yeah, get it. Like, and they get a T-shirt. <laughs> yeah, they get a T-shirt, <laughs> get a t-shirt like, but win it. We we try to charge four hundred, four fifty for a whole team, and it be still collecting. You know, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, yep. it's true. Tough. It's true. Yeah, it's true. true. Yeah, it's yeah, true. That is. It's, it's, it's a fact. It's, it's a fact, man. Like, yeah. but it's gonna take people like you, man, to you know to make an impact on that on that culture, man, and. I mean, we love what you've been doing, and, you know, like I said, you saw we were out there, we came and put a team in, and we would probably put a team in again, you know, whenever you got something going on, so we just want to chop it up with you, man, and uh, thanks for 
to appear on our podcast, man. Make sure you subscribe and check us out. Oh, yeah, for sure. And, and I'm telling you, once I get this gym open, man, you ain't got to worry about another gym no more, man. You already know what's going on. Yeah, that's what's up. 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 Yeah, that's what's up
Bro, this nigga is a hoop. Dope, bro. Hey, bro. It's not the hoop, bro. It's not the hoop. Oh, shit. Hey, bro. Thanks for the intro, bro. Enjoy your family time. Hey, yo, man. Put them pills up, bro. That's tough. So you got you got East West over uh, Easy Money. I think East. I think Easy Money got too many players, man. They got too much. It's <laughs> hard. Good. Like you, you coach a team, bro. So when you got that many niggas and every nigga need to play, it's tough. It, it's gonna be. Who do you sit down? Let me ask you this question then. So you think they got more people than us? Huh? You think they have more people than us? More people? I think y'all got a lot too. But I think y'all y'all got more guys that just know how to play. Like y'all, the players you got, yeah, or a lot of y'all, like them niggas not like wood. They not really tripping on the ego shit. Easy money. Them niggas still want to play. E Evans and them still want to play and still want to try to score twenty type of shit. So I think y'all got a lot. Like they, but they got a lot of offense. And there's niggas who want to play offense. You can bring a guy in like Flynn who gonna score, but he a high energy nigga. You got Rio who can score, but he another guy that's gonna work on the defensive end. So they just got twelve niggas that all want to score. I mean, they all got balance. Yeah, 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 for sure. I think, I think that play, you know, that play D. So uh, both play TP. Yeah, yeah, he both play TP straight. What's up, nephew? I'm at, I'm at uh at my gym. We doing our podcast. You go after? You should. What you say? Yeah. <laughs> Who this? I'm about to sex him. Alright. Always good for a good blooper. <laughs> I bro. knew it was coming, bro. Oh, I, it's good I'm like, good damn, blooper. this nigga about to get through this bit. Man, this nigga said Jason Third. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to Nephew, man. Nephew, man. you made the show, man. man. <laughs> nope. Not that nephew. <laughs> Oh, the boy is man. Let's call nephew, man. Let's see what nephew up to. Hi, nephew. Talk to nephew. He don't. He don't talk to me no more, y'all. He too Hollywood for me. He don't answer the phone. Who? <laughs> oh, yes, yeah, sir, man. What up, though? <laughs> What's up? What's up, man? You good? Yeah. Your hair looks short, bro. What's going on? Hey, what's good, boy? Oh, what up, though? You cut it? No, I got braids. Yeah, man, we we on the podcast, man. Uh, our host thought you was here on the show, so I said, let me call him, man, so he can make the show. Tell us who you are, kid. Um, Jason Derrick Hill Jr. Six eight, class of twenty twenty two. Class of twenty twenty two. Jesus, man. Six eight class twenty twenty two. Um, you here with my guy Carl? Still my guy. My guy Derek. Up, we got Corey in the building. Gang. We got boom your cousin. <laughs> yes, we, I just wanted to wanted to hit you up, man, because uh, our host had shouted you out on the phone. He thought you was here, so I was like, let me call you and see what you was on. Uh, when if if um, if if people around the country wanted to come see you play, where could they? Come check you out. Um, like what you mean? Like where you like AU or you know like you want to shout out your AU program or your high school or. Yeah, um, if you want to see me play this summer, I'm done with Dallas Showtime, so you know, come on, come watch me play. All right, nephew, man. I ain't gonna bother you. I'll let you get that. What you watching? Uh, the Equalizer. Oh, okay. With the fam. Okay. All right. What up, fam? How y'all doing? What up, dude? All right, bud. What up, though, bro? Uh, Chill him. All right. All right, nephew. All right, so I'll give you a button of the day. 
A bucket? Oh my god. He talking crazy. Talking. <laughs> hey man, I'm tired, man. Tell Jerry though if you want to do some ones, me and Jerry can go. With Jerry at or Lily. I'm I'm I CC, whenever. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, I'm hurt, man, when it comes to you, bro. We can't play. I'm hurt. Oh, hurt. I'm hurt. <laughs> but all the other kids, I'm ready. KJ. KJ. You too. I'm coming. All right. All right, nephew. Now, y'all mark right. my words. Right, One day, he going to try to play JJ for real. The nigga going to come in here with a cast. <laughs> Watch what I tell you. I ain't playing JJ, bro. I'm done. That nigga's 6'8". That nigga's 6'8". Yeah, he made me look like a little nigga. I'm not playing, JJ. I'm ready, though. KJ, CC, Lee Lee. Must be a little man. <laughs> Jerry, I'm coming. Like, what up? No, one, Jerry one might mess ones. around and beat him, too, though. For real. Ready. Jerry, like what? Jerry, the like work. six feet? Jerry, probably 5'10". Oh, that's, eight. The, that's the young Yeah, that's the young, the young point guard. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, he got game. Yeah. yeah. We'll, we'll, play, we'll, 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 we'll play one-on-one. We'll do one dribble. <laughs> Do one dribble, man. man. Yeah, but. Hey, hey, fuck hey, no, you, it's really. six to eight. It's six, it's six to eight, though. It's on the east side. You can come if you want to for real, bro. Six to eight. All right, but. You back with an NBA game on? How you feel about the game over the weekend, bro? <laughs> Like your matchup with uh, you know, like uh, your matchup with uh, with Quill. Or LJ, LJ, no, LJ, LJ was checking you. Yeah, LJ was checking you. Like, how did you feel about? I feel like we were like we were good team, man. Like we were good team. I just know. I mean, when we we it ain't nigga that we figured them out. I feel like we just got more mature. You know what I'm saying? Like our our team came all the way together. I feel like one of those teams never been in this for real. Ever since PBL, I don't feel like I feel like we had the best team always. You know, I, I just feel like one of my better teams, but when I stopped playing together, that's what made us lose, you know what I'm saying? It was like everybody thought they were trying to get their own. But now it's like, if I see Jordy get his, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Knicks was big for y'all too. I was about to say Knicks. Knicks was big. People don't realize how high IQ Knicks is, bro. Them damn screens, boy. I think everybody team was big in, in, in certain moments. Everybody contributed to the team. Everybody oh yeah, no, for sure. Ball. But Knicks gave y'all something that y'all haven't really had. Like, I, Knicks smart, bro. Knicks smart. Knicks know how to play. Knicks. <laughs> Knicks was setting those screens at half court. Yeah. And, and, and the back court at the three. He was getting TP so open, like, and then he was rolling. He, Bro, Knicks had two steals in the back court. No, he be active. He active. Knicks had two steals in the back court. Like, you don't see that from a real big. Like, man, Knicks tough. Knicks tough. Like, he's smart. Knicks is super smart, bro. Y'all tough. Like, and I ain't taking nothing from y'all. Y'all tough. I mean, that's what I, I was about to say. Keeps it, keeps it play. Keep it play. Damn. <laughs> Damn, he did play. Y'all tough. Keep it play. Flynn play. didn't play neither. Flynn didn't play neither. Yeah, Flynn wasn't there either. Y'all tough. I feel like Easy Money's losing Zeke and Rio, bro. It's big. It's big. I guess it's, it's huge. Like, they play defense. I don't think it's like. You don't think they can play deep? Jesse has scored for real. The nigga with the threads, he kind of active. He, he, Twan. Oh, Twan, yeah. No, I love Twan, yeah. I'm It's just with them, like, they have to, they're, they're, they have to outscore you. Like, when you playing them, it's kind of like. The next. Who going to get the most stops? Let, let me ask you this question, Dan. This is the most important question. And, and I don't even say it's us. Who, who actually played D in that league? East or West? If you had to pick a team. East or West. 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 And then who else? East or West. 
Um, y'all are so, y'all a good defensive team. Y'all the same nigga. Wood a hound. Wood, Wood a hound on the ball, and then with Rio. Shit, I didn't even see Flynn take a charge. Yeah, like yeah, y'all y'all a solid uh, defensive team. I I would go. I would think you. I would say you and y'all and East and West would be the top two defensive teams. East and West being the top because that's what they do. All right, now, 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 um, like we played them in the IBA, our team played them in the IBA, and they beat us the first game. We beat them the second game by slowing the game down, not shooting threes and getting to the cup. But it's hard to slow them down when you got um, when you got Buck and JK out on the break, and when they press and get in the passing lanes, they tough. So they're not like a lockdown defensive team. But they play in the passing lanes and then they No on YouTube. It is it is on there. Oh no, that's semi semifinals. Somebody delete that nigga. Who got you deleted our shit or JC did? <laughs> you got did JC ask you to play again or something? You might have. <laughs> no, he didn't, he didn't speak to me. When did he get posted? <laughs> My nigga didn't speak to me Sunday, dog. He didn't. When did the championship nah, get posted? Nah, he, he ain't fucking with me. When did it get posted? Like shit, sure, like a week, week ago. Week ago, right after. I check with uh, I check with uh, with Joe to see. You know, it might be private. <laughs> Joe ain't even doing it. JC did it. Yeah, I know, but Joe got access too, though. So it might be uh, private. JC got access to the YouTube? Yeah. Damn, I shouldn't have said shit about them old ass niggas. They came out and played hard as hell. But that, all, all, he, all he did was just that. <laughs> he said he shouldn't have said shit about them. They play hard, too. Hell yeah. CP fucked us up. Hey, dog, whoever be doing that score, you got to do something about that. Them niggas, them niggas. Bro, it said Boston done had six rebounds the whole game as a team, bro. Ain't no way, bro. What, on the stat sheet? Bro, them niggas just be watching the game and they, they be asking, who scored that? Them niggas slow or something? <laughs> Duh, <laughs> that nigga, man. That nigga Dre is slow, bro. Dre, be, Dre was doing it? Dre just was Dre. I think it was, was Dre and Vince. I don't know who had ours, but it said Boston done had six rebounds as a team. No, nah, that game was fast, man. They couldn't. They, they, they probably just couldn't keep up. It, two it, overtimes. Them niggas was ready for that shit to be over with. Yep. Yeah, but we gon we gonna get it we gonna get it together. Yeah, it ain't there no more. If we um if we able to come back, Why you know. Damn man. <laughs> What's up, bro? You think you can uh, bless us with an intro real quick, man? I know you um, trying to get your contract together. I know we we over 100 subscribers now, and you want more money, but you think you can bless us with an intro real quick? Hold on, wait, wait, wait. You like, yo, yo, thing going in and out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you hear me? I said, can you bless us with the intro real quick? I know you working on your contract, you know, because we got over 100 subscribers, and you want more money, but you think you can bless us with an intro? <laughs> I got you, I got you, I got you. Alright, y'all ready? Yeah, we ready, bro. <laughs> First off, who all around us? Who all there? The usual suspects, my guy. Same people, bro. Me, Derek, Carl, Corey, and my nephew. Oh, uh, nephew there? <laughs> <laughs> Y'all like shit, man. Y'all only be having games on Saturday and Sunday? Yeah. yeah. You be working? No, I just, I used to be at the Inkster games a lot, so I just don't be coming to them. I'll watch them, and then I'll be like, won't watch them. 
But now he told y'all talking about the competition crazy. I'm about to start watching these bitches for sure. No, I ain't still. You probably could be fall asleep at some of the bitches. I ain't gonna go oh, no, this shit, nigga. Yeah, they, 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 you can't even turn your head. You be like, damn, niggas got rock. We get back in that bitch, nigga, this next week, nigga. You gonna be like, man, what the fuck is this, bro? Yeah. You see I seen it when you showed the stands. I was <laughs> like, what the fuck? And I felt like that was, that was late. That was late. That was, that was late. late. That was yeah, after yeah. late. Yeah, that was after that one, uh, Nigga, when everybody stood up, uh, NBK and Easy Money, like the whole crowd stood up yeah. on their feet. That shit got crazy. Yeah, clapping his eyes. No. I mean, he was, he was niggas sitting in the ref chairs, bro. That's how crazy the game was. Like, I had to go over and tell, like, hey, bro, we need these seats for the refs. Like, no. it was it was, it was, was crazy. The, 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 like the big point it. in the crowd, the crowd got to it, when, when Keith filed Quail, he said, this nigga ain't shit. He ain't never be shit. Everybody, mm, that shit was going crazy. Keith played big. Yeah, that was... That nigga yeah, was, I was looking. For I never that. seen him that that turned and emotional like that. He was Keith answer the phone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Keith was playing. Yeah. Yeah. NBK, East or West, Easy Money. Easy money. Are you busy? He didn't want to come out the game. Mm -hmm. Or he didn't want to not he take Quail. He didn't want to take away. I forgot he Quayle. played with them against yeah. them. I forgot. I seen him and Carl. Yeah, yeah. Him and Carl yeah. Dilo. Oh, yeah. And Dilo played with them. It's cool love. Uh, <laughs> he didn't play with them last week, though. I think. Who? He? Yeah, he ain't play Sunday. Oh, he smoked that leg. Yeah, that was I heard crazy. he smoked his leg up. And he pushed it home, I think. Oh. Oh. Man, they can't fucking compete on Sunday. <laughs> <laughs> they can't compete on Sunday. Jairus, I'm sorry, bro. Oh, you yeah, talking about himself. Y'all are not ready yet, man. Do you imagine man. Mario taking JK? They lost the lesson. Or Knicks? I mean, Mario could check. Like, it just would, it, like, I just feel like overall, the, the, like, he could check sense. anybody. I just feel like it just wouldn't be good, like, overall. You know what I'm saying? Like, it, it just. Even well, with, 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 with your team, right? Like, right. and Nigga, guys not true. showing up or whatever yeah, the case may be, but, which, which be. like, y'all, you know, y'all struggling. You know, yeah, like this season. Like, I wasn't expecting that. I, I, I think early on, I was talking about y'all being one of the top teams. No, yeah. I've been chilling, bro. I've been doing this. My oh, boy, you um, down. I mean, Kev not being there, which is a big piece of that. He ain't been there like the last two two games, and he helped us out big. He helped us compete with bigger people. Kev? Yeah. yeah. You look, look like y'all got a whole bunch of new faces deal. in here, though. Big deal. Oh yeah, it's a lot. It's a Man, lot of it's a lot of I don't really recognize none of these people for real. Yeah, yeah, it's a lot of people. Players. It's like we just got it. You know, we just come. Oh yeah, it's totally different from me. Hey. <laughs> yeah, this ain't nothing. Yeah, for real. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, right. I'm hungry as so. fuck. But <laughs> she said, "Fuck." That's the sense that they get so. And Insta, they use they used to be some niggas getting blew out out there. What the dog? This weekend. <laughs> A different energy with Vince, man, and when, you know when he here, uh, he always gonna give us something. Sure. Always uh, is NBK the best team in the city? Are they the best team in the city? Um, or in the league? Just put it like that. The mm, for me, no. Okay, so who's the best team? <laughs> um, I would have to go. Honestly, I would have to say money team. 